Billy Doomer. As the release date for the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine movie July 26th approaches, the news are getting more and more interesting. And recently, even a video message from Ryan Reynolds has been published as he takes a few shots at woke Disney and Marvel. All this as Disney's stocks continue on a steady road of decline, mostly thanks to the widely unpopular decision they keep consistently making, such as sacrificing a good story on the altar of the woke agenda, forcing terrible, unlikable characters on us, casting actors and actresses based on how many DEI boxes they check instead of their actual talent, and just completely disregarding the will of the actual fan base all around. This is essentially what Reynolds makes fun of in his video message, which we're going to take a look at. But we also have some interesting info about the pre-sale tickets for Deadpool and Wolverine. Here they say, yeah, we're sticking with all the money. And it's a good bet on our end. Fandango has revealed that Deadpool and Wolverine has broken Fandango's best first day ticket sales record for 2024. The film is also the best first day pre-seller from the Deadpool franchise surpassing the first day of ticket sales for Deadpool and Deadpool 2. Additionally, AMC's CEO revealed that Deadpool and Wolverine has sold more day one tickets than any other R-rated movie in AMC's history. And here, we can see that Deadpool 2, which was the higher grosser, had a $786 million worldwide box office performance, which means that so far it all looks great for the third film. And if the momentum keeps up and Disney doesn't mess it up too bad, it could easily surpass the billion-dollar mark eventually. Marvel Studios also released a new promo video in celebration of its so-called multiversal pre-sale for the highly anticipated movie. It had some new stuff compared to the latest trailer that came out a few weeks ago. And luckily, it still looks pretty good, which could definitely explain the outstanding pre-sale numbers as well. So, on to the message from Reynolds. Let's see what he has to say to us, and especially to Woke Disney. We're very excited to be joining you July 26. Many of you are very excited, but we should set the table correctly. This film is as paper thin as a sequel to Battlefield Earth. We're mostly gonna beat each other senseless, make enemies with Disney, tell a few dick jokes, make a few jokes at my expense, make a lot of jokes at Hugh's expense, and completely sidestep Marvel's mandated after credit sequence, which if you haven't figured it out yet, is always just a commercial for another movie, which will invariably end with a commercial for another movie. So sit back, relax, let us lower your IQ and raise your heart rate while we travel to a vapid dreamland, a place where grown men and grown women walk around in tights and act like it's not a giant cultural cry for help. This is cinema. Well, I think that was a pretty awesome message from Reynolds, and hopefully Disney will listen to it, because they sure as hell don't want to listen to what the fans have to say. Let's hope the momentum keeps up and they don't mess up at least this one movie too much, and maybe they can recover a bit from the brutal hit their stock took recently. Anyway, if you would like to get some sweet perks on this channel, check out my subscribe star page and pick a tier you like. Also, check out the other videos I have here, and I will see you in the next one.